As you can tell by the thumbnail and title, I'm going to be doing the 5x5 Bloxburg House Challenge. Um, you may have seen a lot of creators do this in the past, like Anix, um, Faulty, French Roses, and Kachunky. So I figured I'd finally try it out myself. So I found this house on Google, which is like a little Scandinavian house. So I'm going to be using this for reference and inspiration while I'm building. So, okay, so I have the 5x5 grid here. So we're going to go ahead and just do a basic like wall outline here because obviously if you saw from the image the front and back is just straight up windows so we're gonna do that as well okay so i'm not entirely sure how i want to go about like kind of doing this with like the layout i should probably do that before i actually just straight up do the windows so i can't quite tell from the image but i want to say it's like open right here Kind of like to lead to like a bedroom space but i kind of want to make this a bathroom and then we'll probably put the kitchen like around here and then like the living room kind of area around here and then obviously i've got to have like a bedroom so i want to put like the bedroom space up here okay so i finished most of the front window panel thing but i noticed there's like a small like little deck in front of the house and i still i kind of want to add that so i and there's no actual way to get through it with the window being here so i'm gonna make these like custom bake pivot doors i don't really know what else to call them but okay so i just put some beams around the door and then i set them back in but the issue is it's like slightly off centered because that piece here and then we're just gonna place it in and then just slightly pivot it perfect and now we've got a small pivot door so in order to make like the half wall that like the house has I'm gonna use like some basic shapes like I always do because when do I never use when do I not use basic shapes in a build so I think I'm gonna paint the outer walls like this dark gray color like the same here because that's kind of how the house is for the picture so I think that'll be pretty good and you just it, I'm using the transform plus game pass now because it's so much easier to do this with but because like I can just make sure it's like angled perfectly and then just adjust the height as needed okay i think i finally finished it and it's nice and covered and fits perfectly right here and then the roof is pretty perfect so i think i nailed the roof finally so perfect and now i'll have to add like a small side piece here so it kind of is like a little bit has some more depth to it i know it kind of is built a little out of the 5x5 but i don't think it matters that much because it's not actually within the house so okay so for the back side here i want to kind of show what like the picture was doing where it had like a wall kind of back here so i'm gonna put like an actual wall here so i can get the depth right but they had like only the side two windows here i'll put a picture of it on screen again but i only had like the two glass things on the side here and then just a wall right here and then i'll carry it up to here as well but so far, I think this is looking really good for a 5x5 house. Okay, so I finished back here, so I covered it off so it's I can put like the bed up against here and then have like some side tables kind of on the side. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is going to be like the bed space, not much. And it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to build off the sides right here and then I'll come back again. Okay, so I finished the little side pieces here to the walls so it kind of goes out a little bit further than the wall i used the same method that i did up here um to continue it with the planks on the sides so i think it's time to color everything so i want to use that new wood grain texture we got because i think it'll look perfect and then ugh, i think like lemon is too much too bright for it i want to use this darker brown linen version i have um this is a custom color that I'd save to a palette. Okay, I think we'll use this color for the hardwoods. It's like the, um, what is it? The cloudy gray, but then I just made it slightly lighter. So I think that'll be good. I might change the floors later. Just depends on how I feel about the house. So I might do this challenge again in a few months, um, doing an A-frame house. I'll put a couple pictures of an A-frame on screen. But I really love A-frame houses, and I haven't done one in so long. And I actually debated doing one for this challenge right now, but I thought the Scandinavian house would look cooler. So so when I'm recording this right now, it is actually like the day after I posted the starter house renovation video finally. And that video is doing really well 
right now it had like a couple thousand views so thank you guys so much if you watched that video if you haven't go watch it after this video it was a, a lot of fun to do um i've never actually renovated the starter house in all the years that i've been playing Bloxburg. so it was kind of new and different to finally do it okay so i finished the really goofy looking ladder i might fix it later i want to make sure it works first though also if you hear any noise out like extra noise it's my neighbor oh my god it works anyways it's my neighbors they're for some reason doing their lawn after like five years but that's besides the point okay the ladder works that's all i cared about okay so let's finally get started with the interior so for the kitchen i want to have let me find it so appliances so we're gonna do a fridge in the corner and then i genuinely don't know how else to do this um so i saw um another boxburg builder lucas lucas um do this a lot in several of his builds but what he does is he takes like the electric stove top or just one of the stove tops and then he takes like a microwave and then puts it underneath into the counter and it looks like a little like just oven cooktop area so i think that works pretty well so and then we'll keep it like that and then i want to do a small island because that's where you're going to be eating so we're going to do the modern island and if you saw my last video i made some custom a custom island in the house the starter house renovation video yeah i'm gonna have to do that again here i was just gonna say i might have to do that here because i've got a lack of space okay so i finished this really awesome custom island again this one looks so much cooler than the last one because like the sink blends right into it so i think we'll go ahead and do just shelves kind of like a european kitchen and then i'm gonna be basic and just add some small pendant lights i'm not gonna do any custom ones for this one because i think it's okay so i finally finished the kitchen i am really happy with how it looks um i'll change the paintings in a little bit but i think this turned out pretty cute i didn't want to overcrowd it but then i didn't want to make it too minimalistic so i think this is a pretty good balance and then i made these custom stools it's literally two beams it's pretty simple it took like nothing so yeah i think it looks pretty good um i think i will work on the rest of this like open space so like living room and like a mini office study nook area i finished the living room space um it's just a chair table and an ottoman with a carpet underneath sitting around the fireplace there's not much to it because i couldn't really fill in over here and then if i kind of fill in over here it just looks a little weird but okay so i finally finished the downstairs space like this open area i don't know what to call it i guess it's just the living space um i already showed the living room but now i've got the like just desk work area um so i made this little custom desk kind of cute added a little basket next to it because i didn't know what else to add because a plant was too big and then i didn't know what else to put on the desk i might add like a box of tissues or like a pen cup later but i think that works for now and then i added a light sconce on the wall and then a couple paintings i think now we are gonna work on the bathroom okay so here is the bathroom two by three so i think what i want to do for the layout is have a sink here toilet here and then your shower here i would add a bathtub but i feel like just doing like a simple walk-in shower would be fine okay i think that is pretty much it for the bathroom i will do decals and you'll be able to see how it looks later when i tour the place so i think that's pretty good it's pretty small and i don't want to overcrowd it so but now the only place we have left of the house is the quote bedroom it's kind of just a loft so let's get that going okay i finished the bed looks pretty good pretty comfortable and now i gotta do some like small side tables off to the side because obviously there's not much you can do i might just use these relaxed side tables it's been a while since i've used these i need to stop saying solid i've noticed in the, this video and the last video i keep saying solid for no reason it's like i'm building it all and be like oh that looks solid don't know why or where that came from i've never like actually said it before but and now i've got to find like a way to do like clothing storage so i'm gonna probably use the modern kids dressers because they fit perfectly up here 
I forget that tissue box exist in this game. I never use them, obviously. So maybe this is a sign I should use them more. Okay, I think that's it for the house. It's pretty much like all decorated. I just have to do decals and just a few. I'll go through and do all the decals. Um, I'll leave a link to all the people I use for decals in the description. So I think that looks pretty good for a small little house, five by five house. I might do a little bit of landscape work just so it doesn't look super boring. Um, nothing drastic because I, I don't want this video to drag on for too long, so. Okay, here is the completed 5x5 house challenge build. I think it turned out pretty good. I did do a little bit of landscaping on the side. Nothing too extreme. I just wanted to make it feel a little bit taller than it is and then added some trees just so it doesn't look so plain. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, the whole thing costed like 133000 which is pretty annoying, but I blame the custom roof. Definitely a lot more than I expected it to cost, but I think it looks pretty good. So let's just hop into the tour. So right when you walk up, you've got this little curvy path that leads to your little front porch area. Um, and then right up here, we've got the pivot door, glass pivot door that leads inside of this lovely Scandinavian home. Um, off to the left, we've got just a small little desk workspace, nothing special, pretty plain, but I don't know what else to add here, so looks cool. And then over here to the right, we have the rest of the living space. So we've got the living room, which isn't much of a living room. It's just a chair, side table, ottoman, and a fireplace. And then I added like this little like dog bed kind of thing. There isn't really like a good place. I didn't know what else to add here. I thought this was kind of fun and unique to add, so why not? And then over here, we have the nice kitchen. I love this kitchen so much. It came out so good. We've got the custom island. Once again, I feel like that's going to be what I'm known for is the custom islands in my kitchens. Added some paintings on the back and some semi-custom stools. It's just two beams tilted and that's it. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like the little miniature cabinets up top. Again, credits to Lucas and Noki Tony for that. And then also credits to Lucas for the this kind of design for like a miniature stove thing. And then we got a window in the corner to let in some light. I think this looks pretty good. And then back over here, we've got the bathroom in the house. So we've got a sink and a mirror, nothing much, just a toilet, um, some towels and some little basket decals on the wall. And then we've got the custom shower. I had some soaps and then obviously the shower, some marble to make it feel a little darker and give some more tone to the bathroom and then the stool with a plant on it and then i know there's a window literally where you're showering but this house will probably be set in like a very private area so like it wouldn't matter too much and then going up here the custom ladder we get to the bedroom loft area i love how this came out um I mean, I wish I could have done a little bit more, but I didn't know what else to add. So we've got some small kids dressers over here that are just actual dressers that I'm claiming it as um, that work. And then we've got just a bunch of random stuff on top, um, a small ottoman in the corner, and then bedside tables with your lovely bed in the center. Looks really good. And you can obviously look out at what would be a view, but obviously there is no view. So just picture there's like a lakeside view. And then just a small chair and table over here with a mat with some slippers on it. And that's pretty much it. And then I have this glass railing here. It took me a little bit longer than I expected. It took me like five hours to build, but again, I'm a slow builder. So hopefully I can fix that soon and build a little quicker. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you guys thought of this build down below in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe for future content. Have a great rest of your day. Catch you in the next one.